Kia ora all, Sandra Gray, the National Secretary of Tau Tukarangi, the Tertiary Education Union. We're talking workloads at the moment, and one of the questions we're asking is, what's the worst that happens when you say yes to work or um, extra work um, rather than prioritising other things in your life? And I thought I'd share a little tale that I've spoken about in meetings. Uh, my mum, uh, nearly um, 15 years ago, went in for a second round of breast cancer surgery at Auckland Hospital. It was the first day of semester and I was at Victoria University and for some reason I prioritised my class over my mum. And I couldn't concentrate during the day. All I could think about was what was happening for my mum with that surgery. She went from that surgery into the ICU. Luckily she came out. But I regret every day that I think about it, that I prioritise my work over my mum over my family. I should have been there. I should have been in Auckland with my family rather than prioritising work. So what's the worst that can happen? Well, like me, you can really have some deep regrets during your life. So please, when you take on work or when you prioritise work, uh, think about what it does to the rest of your life and to you um, and make sure you put it all in perspective. I certainly do now. I prioritise time with my family, I prioritise time with my friends and I certainly make sure that I talk to my boss. And you know what happened when I did say, actually I've got to go to Auckland? My boss said, of course you do and I'll find someone to cover your classes. It's that simple. So think about it. When you're thinking about whether to prioritise work, whether to take on that extra workload, think, what's the worst that can happen if I say no? Well, your boss will probably find someone to help you out. What's the worst that can say happen that if I say yes to work? Well, like me, you might live with deep regrets. Hey, keep it in context and let get, let's get workloads in check.